Hi everyone, Shane Armonroe here. So have you ever moved a game in Steam on your Steam Deck to another storage device and found that your saves, your configuration, pretty much everything about the game was wiped clean? Well, you're not crazy and in this video, I'm gonna show you why. Stick around. Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here, and we're gonna use Ghostbusters, the video game remastered as our test. This is a great game. Unfortunately, it has no cloud saves, and by the time you get far enough in the game, you will definitely be pissed if you lose your career. So we're gonna go in here first of all and verify that we do indeed have a career in progress, which we do. So uh, the game save is in place right now. The game is currently installed, to the micro SD card. So let's go in and find our save game data and make a backup. Now this varies from game to game, but we'll use Ghostbusters as our sample. So we're gonna go find the app ID of Ghostbusters, the video game remastered on steamdb.info and it's 1449280. That's the same for any single person that installs Ghostbusters. It's always the same number. So we're gonna to go to our compat data folder and we're gonna find that compat data folder proton prefix. Inside of there's our prefix files, but drive C, this is our fake drive C that proton sets up for every single game that's installed. You'll also notice that the game itself is not in here, just the settings, which are right here under my documents. There's our profile and there's our game save. So we're gonna go ahead and be smart and save a copy of that off to my micro SD card for safekeeping. All right, so now we've got a copy of the Ghostbuster save data from the Proton prefix. So now it is time to begin our test. We'll go to settings and storage. And from there, we're going to go ahead and move the game from the micro SD card over to the internal storage. All right, easy peasy. Let's go real quick and uh, verify where these files are, because I think this is important for people to understand the sort of the file structure and how things are stored. So if I go over um, here on this side, I'm going to put my local storage for Steam games, which is inside a common Steam apps common, and I will do the same thing on my micro SD card. Now you can see that Ghostbusters is indeed here on my micro SD card, but it is not on my internal storage. These are the game binary files, not the saves or the configs or anything else. So let's go ahead and get that started. We're gonna move it to the internal drive. And of course, this could take a while depending on the game. This isn't a huge game, so it wouldn't take too long, but I won't make you suffer through all of it. Uh, but we have to move things around in order to see what's causing the problem. And it's more common for people to be moving things from internal to external which is why I think that this problem isn't as prolific as it probably should be. But let's go ahead and skip past this and get to the testing part of this. So all content is moved successfully. So our next step would be to go check that Proton Prefix, right? The Proton Prefix has our saves in it. Is the Proton Prefix still here? Will it get wiped or reset when we, um, when we uh, run the game again? but we can definitely see the game got moved out of the micro SD card and into internal storage. Perfect. Now let's go back and see if our Proton prefix is still here. Uh, let's just sort by name. Okay, here we go. No, it's still here. Yeah, the Proton prefix is still here. Let's go take a look and make sure that our game saves are still there. Now listen, if the Proton prefix is there, the games are prob the game saves are probably still there too. Uh, where was that? Uh, documents, yeah. Oh, yep, there we go. Yeah, they're there. They're there, they're fine. The save file's there for profile and game. So let's just verify, let's just verify. We'll run the game. I'll spare you all the boot screens and everything. We'll just jump straight to the game and we'll make sure that our career is safe and sound after the move. And it is, resume career is available. So that's perfect. We are in good shape. So the move from external, the micro SD card to internal, the SSD is fine, no problems. So if you perform that evolution, Everything appears to be fine. Okay, now obviously we're gonna need to move it back, right? Um, originally I was just gonna call this a day and say that there's some anomaly going on, but I thought, hey, let's move it the other direction. It shouldn't matter, right? Honestly, a move is a move. And if one move doesn't mess with anything, then why would the other move do it? 
but you know, I do believe in being thorough. So let's go ahead and move it back to the micro SD card. Once again, we will skip all the fun. But before we move on, I just want to give a, just a, a quick recap. Games on the Steam Deck are stored effectively in two places. The game binary files, the game's actual running files exist in one location. Saves, config files, things that the game outputs are stored somewhere else. They're stored inside the drive C, the fake Windows drive, inside the game's Proton prefix. You can't just back up the Ghostbusters folder and hope that your game saves are in there. They're not. They're inside the Proton Prefix. I have numerous videos talking about how the Proton Prefix works. I recommend you take a look at those. They'll help you out dramatically in understanding the uh, file systems. Okay, so once again, we want to verify. Hey, wait a minute. Where, where's the Ghostbusters stuff? Where's our saves? They're gone. Wait a minute. Is the whole, the, the whole prefix is gone. So when we move from internal to external, it completely dropped the Proton Prefix. And of course, what was in the Proton Prefix? Your saves, your progress, your configuration. It's gone. Let's just make sure. I mean, obviously, if the Proton Prefix is gone, and right now it just got rebuilt, but rebuilt doesn't mean put my saves back in, right? So I have 100% belief that the save files will be gone, and look at that, they're gone. All of your, all of your progress, your whole career, all of your busting has been for naught. It is gone, gone, gone. So the good news is uh, Uncle Shane was smart and he backed up his game saves. So we'll go back and we'll replace those. Now, again, every single game has a different save location. Every single game has different nuances of how it saves game files. So what we're doing here works for Ghostbusters. It may not work for your game. But we this is this one's pretty cut and dry straightforward. We drag that we drag, there you go. All right. We drag and copy the Ghostbusters folder back over to the documents on the Proton Prefix's fake C drive and we'll try it again and we'll make sure that our game was restored. Now sometimes game saves up oh, there we go. We're good. Sometimes the game saves use registry entries and all sorts of other crazy stuff. So this type of backup may not work for you, but it should work in most cases. And I will provide an additional video for you to help you better understand how this system works. So we know it's broken. It's at least broken when you go from internal to external, but not necessarily external to internal. Well, there you have it. Hopefully uh, Steam will fix this problem along with the many other problems that have snuck into their software recently, including the double quote problem, amongst others. Um, but now at least you can go in forewarned and forearmed and back up your saves prior to moving your games around. There's another video I'll recommend right there that will tell you how to figure out the save locations of your games and help you navigate the often strange world of Proton prefixes. I'm Shane Armandro. If you like what you saw, please like the video, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff helps out the channel, and I appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Shane Armonroe. Take care.